This is Eugene Pandrikovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Chromebook 11 second generation with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the second generation Dell Chromebook 11. Before we get started, a couple of things I need to talk about. First thing is we want to make sure that you have the right laptop. This is the second generation. Um, the main difference between this one and the first generation Dell Chromebook is the first generation has a plastic or a glass shield in front of the screen that's attached to the screen bezel. This one doesn't have that shield. There's no piece of thin piece of plastic between in front of the screen. The screen is just right there. So that's one way to tell that this is a second generation. Um, the second way is they look different. If your Chromebook does not look like this, then it's probably not the right one. Finally, third way to tell is to look on the bottom. And it's hard to see the way they did it, but if you look at the model, it says P22T. So this model is P22T. Okay, the second thing you want to make sure is that the laptop is completely powered off. There's no removable battery, so you can't remove the battery. And each time, if the battery is charged, each time you open and close the Chromebook, it turns on automatically. If it does turn on, you need to do a long press of the power button. Press the power button for three or four seconds until the screen goes blank and then turns off. Okay, finally, the tools that we're going to use for this. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end, and that's to remove screw covers and to lift up adhesive tape. And we have a pair of metal tweezers just in case we need to remove any screws that are stuck or manipulate wires and cables. First thing we need to do is remove the screen bezel. The plastic frame goes around the screen and in order to do that we have to remove two screws at the top that are hiding behind some screw covers. So we grab our hobby knife or exacto knife and lift up the screw cover from the corner and put it beside the screw opening so we don't lose it. And same on the other side like so. And then what we want to do is use our screwdriver to remove the two screws. One and two. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which were there, in the order in which they, they were removed, and that helps me keep track of which screws go where. Once we do that, we can snap the screen bezel off. To do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for the snapping sounds. And in this way, go around the screen bezel. And same thing on the bottom. And then when we do that, the bezel lifts right out and we put it to the side. Okay, the next step is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. There are four screws that are attaching the screen to the screen assembly, two at the top and two at the bottom. And we remove the two screws. When we do that, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward when you remove all the four screws. And once again, we start a new pile for this set of screws so that we can keep track of them and we keep going like this. Once the screws are removed, we gently grab the screen and gently lay it down and the connector is exposed. When you lay down the screen, make sure not to touch the power button or be careful with the power button. If you do turn it on, just do a long press and turn it off. There's one connector to the screen that we need to remove and there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector. So we lift up the adhesive tape and start with a hobby knife and then just use our fingertips. And after that, 
we grab the back of the connector and gently pull it out like so. I'm going to reconnect it to show you how to properly do it. You slide the connector in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Now let's get a close-up of the connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. And finally, after it's connected, there's a metal, thin metal wire bar that goes around the connector that secures the connection. So make sure that's engaged also. Okay, once again, we pull out the connector and take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch slim EDP scrim screen with a matte finish. Most of these screens will have a matte finish, but some will come in glossy. So if you want a specific type of finish, you have to specify it. Let's look at the part number. This is the part number that you look at when you order the screen. The part number is NT116WHM-N21. This is the part number when you order. When you do get your screen in, most likely it will not be the same part number. It will be a different part number, but the screen will be compatible. Okay, uh, to order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and then they will guide you to buy the right screen online. If you work for a school district and would like to order from us, there is a link on top of the webpage that's specifically for school district. For uh, volume orders for school districts, contact us directly from the link on top of the webpage and then we will show you how to order using a purchase order and we have volume discounts for bulk orders. Also, uh, what you do get with us with the screens that we sell is this toolkit. It's for, provided for free with every screen that we sell. We also or offer a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. Okay, if you live outside the United States, you can order from us also. Just go to checkout and select your country when you order. And in the United States, we do have free priority mail shipping, so you will get your screen quickly. Once you do get your screen in, connect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen on the back of the screen assembly, put the four screws in, snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the top, put the screw covers in at the top, and that should be it. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich, I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.